much your girl dimples thank you for tuning in today and if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button subscribe to my channel hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every single time that i upload um welcome to the dbt gang you guys um Follow me on all my social media platforms. They are in the description box below. I mainly be on Instagram. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. But yeah, you guys, um, as you can tell by the title, what we're getting into today, y'all already know what it is. I am so happy, y'all. I am one week post-op. Disclaimer. Let me let you guys know something. If you're not into surgery, if you disagree with having any type of surgery, whether it comes to the nail, foot, hair, nose, any little thing, plastic surgery, um, cosmetic, it don't matter what it is, you can um go ahead and you know click away from this video. This is a no judgment free zone. Um and yeah, but if you're interested, welcome and let's get into it. But you guys, um, like I said, um, as you can, t as you know, um, if you watch my previous videos and watch my surgery journey, I just had surgery on April 18th. Um, I had a tummy tuck, and I am one week post op. On my previous videos, I have days one through three um of post op i'll let you guys see and like how things went after surgery so you guys can go along and follow me throughout my whole surgery journey and i just want to say thank you for everyone that's been checking up on me all the good love all the positive feedback um you guys have been hitting me up i will be doing a um i will be doing a updated q a for you guys because you guys left me a lot of questions that you want answered and yeah that's what we're going to be doing but we're not going to be doing that today today we're going to get into this one week post-op and how things been going on because y'all only got three days of aftercare of post-op so we fit to get into it so you guys i am feeling great i am so much i'm so happy that i didn't made it this far um in this journey i'm so glad i'm one week because in a few days you know i didn't have any pain and stuff like that i just had discomfort and very uncomfortable and stuff i got a high pain tolerance you guys so i was never in any pain um let's get into these flowers that my job sent me y'all my job sent me these beautiful flowers yesterday i cannot wait to go back to work um yeah my job sent me these beautiful look at this rose like Y'all, I wanted to take a spiritual bath so bad with these fresh flowers, but I can't do so because of my incisions. Like, I just don't want these flowers to go to waste. Like, oh my gosh. I don't know if I should just like pick the roses, these beautiful little tulips. All right, I'm getting all off topic. I had to put that there for um decorations, but no. Nah. So one week post up, um, I'm not in any pain, you guys. Um, I can stand up a little more right now. I'm just sitting down in this chair. Um, I've still got a little, little, you know, arch a little bit, but um, I'm standing up a little straighter now. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm looking. I do have my faha, you guys, but let me tell you one thing about that faha. That faha. <sighs> um, I'm by myself. I ain't got no help. You know, it's just me and my kids. I try to put I put that faha on yesterday. I'm not even gonna lie. I tried to put that faha on yesterday. And mm. anyways, you guys, before I jump into this video, you guys, I'm going to let you guys see and watch my seventh day. Um earlier that morning. Um earlier well earlier that morning of what happened on the seventh day when on my one week post op um and yeah i'll be back when you guys come back all right y'all um today is my seventh day i'm one week i'm here at the place i'm here at the place right now hopefully i get these damn drains taken out y'all I can say 
you back. This place is so clean. It smells so good in here. Y'all, I'm so ready to get ready to use me a drink. I'm just so ready. Whew. I'm supposed to be here at 8. It's like 8.15 right now. Um, I still feel toothless from my mouth. Face is all breaking out and stuff. I'm just waiting to be called to the back or something. I'm so ready to get this drained out. When I get to the back, I'm show y'all. All right, y'all. So I was in the wrong place. I gotta go back to the place where they did my surgery at. So. No, I did something. It's, I see her. Now it's fine? Like, yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right, y'all. I'm in the waiting room. I just got my drains removed. I just got my drains removed. I feel so much better, y'all. Like, look at this. It's nice in here. I've never been in here. Yeah, you guys, I just got my drains removed. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, and I love my results. I love how thin my scar is. I'm excited. All right, y'all. I feel so fucking good, y'all. Like, I'm starting to stand up more. Um, this elevator not moving. Um, yeah, I got my Faja, y'all. Got them stupid drains removed. I'm so happy. I can walk a little bit up more, like I'm standing a little bit up more. Where my brother at? Yeah, I'm standing a little bit up more. I just feel like I'm walking slower. That's it. I feel like I'm walking slower. But that's fine too. Um, yeah, I'm leaving today. So, I'm gonna see y'all.
so that's what took place um that earlier that day um like i said today is a new day i'm still one week post off but um let's get into a few things um i felt so like without them drains y'all i feel so much better um like i um as you guys saw yes i do have my faha i tried playing my faha on yesterday by myself it took two hours like it was a struggle because like i'm by myself now and it's um it was like a struggle for me for real i feel like i know it's not the vitamins and i know it's not um the vitamins and stuff that i've been taking but i think it's the anesthesia or whatever it, those antibiotic pills that i was given or whatever like got my skin real dry like if you guys know me watch my previous videos if you guys been rocking with me for a long time if you know me period you know i don't have dry flaky skin like i got broken out so bad and this is what i'm recovering from like my skin i don't know if i'm not drinking enough water anymore because like right after surgery i was drinking gallons and gallons and gallons of water i've slowed down a lot tremendously from doing that i don't know if that's the case or if the anesthesia wore off because immediately after surgery like my skin is just like had this 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 like effect it became so sensitive and it started like drying up i don't know if you guys can see my face like it's like oh like i don't know so i think i need to get back into drinking this water like how i was before um i still been taking my vitamins i've been um i laid off um the hill fast that you guys saw i laid off the hill fast and i've just been taking my folic acid my collagen gummies i've been taking the, i'm still finishing off the antibiotics that they gave me um um the calcium c i laid off that too because i don't know if that if it's so much acid or whatever the case may be i laid off the calcium um so like yeah i laid off a lot of those you know what i'm saying vitamins because i don't know what it is i don't know if it, it was the anesthesia i don't know if it was the vitamins too much acid i don't know i don't know what it is i just laid off a, a lot of stuff but i know i need to start back drinking a lot of water because my my skin just feels like very dry and it looks very bad like my skin looks very bad like my skin was not looking like this the day of surgery or before surgery like if y'all guys like if you know what i'm talking go watch my previous videos y'all to see what i'm talking about that's why it's such a big deal that's why i'm talking about it because like this is not it like this was never it this was this this no like no but um anyways you guys like i said i'm not in this, i'm not in any pain um let me show you guys i'm gonna get up and show you guys how i'm standing my diet hasn't changed i'm still eating the same um right now my stomach growling because i need to go get something to eat but I, you know i had to do this video for you guys so let me get up so i can show you you guys i'm not wearing my faha i'm still wearing my binder because i'm having problems you know putting everything on by myself so i'm still in my binder and this is how i'm standing this is how i'm standing y'all but yeah, I got this binder on. I got on my binder. It's all ring because I've been like, when I sit down, I still be like hunched over and stuff like that. I gotta wash my binder. I gotta fix it. I gotta fix this lot. But yeah, still got on my binder, y'all. And yeah, don't mind me. I'm ashy too, so. it so yeah you guys this is me i can stand up a little more still got a little arch in me or whatever still got a little arch but i'm standing up a little more this is me one week you know um what i need to do and what i need to get into is hold on let me get my chair put my chair back all right but what i need to get into now you guys is this faha and just start compressing because i'm compressing with the binder don't get me wrong um but i need to i want to get in a faha but i want to get i like i want to start standing a little more straight up before i put myself in a faha because i am by myself and i'm doing all of this stuff by myself y'all i'm i want to be more comfortable 
like not having back problems like i want to be i just want to be more comfortable putting my faja on by myself um i have my 360 foam light board like um lipo foam board that i'm still going to be using if you don't know what i'm talking about go watch my supply list video um and it shows you there i even have put the link the links to all the supplies and vitamins and stuff in my description box um yeah so i don't have um you know i saw i watched some videos and everybody was like that they had um like short breaths like because in the beginning like my second or my third day i think i was like out of breath getting out of breath rest and stuff like that but that doesn't happen to me anymore everything is normal everything is fine i feel fine um one week post-op everything is going good my incision line is very thin i can't wait to show you guys that but i won't be showing you guys that until i'm like one month um yeah so my next update will be my one month update and then then is when i will be doing the q a um you guys ran my video up i just want to say thank you guys so much y'all ran up the surgery video i have 12k views on there like you guys are the best i'm so happy i'm very appreciative shout out to all the all the real genuine love and support that i've gotten off of that video to be honest i'm so grateful i'm so happy that's why i want to do the q a video to my surgery journey when i'm one month post-op um because you know it's still the beginning it's still fresh everything is still you know in the beginning everything is still fresh so i feel like you know the more the merrier and i want to make sure everyone is following me on all my social media on um, platforms going through what i'm going through and asking questions reaching out to me you guys can like i said before you guys can reach out to me i'm not the type of youtuber I, I do respond back i do hold conversations um if you have any questions and stuff like that um you can continue to send your questions in and stuff like that because i was going to do the q a for my one week post op but it's like it's too early you know what i'm saying i feel like that's too early so i'm just gonna wait my one month post op to do the q a so you guys can still send your questions in you guys can feel free to inbox me dm me on messenger um i do have a facebook i do have snapchat you guys can reach out to me keep up with me um add me follow me on all my social media platforms and yeah continue to show love on my channel i will be dropping um more content and um yeah i am great i am fine them drains are removed i feel like them drains like held me down like had me so down and like oh my gosh why did i do this with the drains but you know and all in all i'm very happy that i did this i'm very um happy with um my coordinators and everyone that just showed me so much support and love i'm just so grateful and i'm so thankful for that um make sure you guys stay tuned subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already i'm so grateful i'm so thankful thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you guys in my next video and don't forget to share this video subscribe to my channel i can't stress that enough and i keep i said that like five times and i'm gonna say it one more time subscribe to my channel my social media platforms are in the description box below be sure make sure that you guys follow me dm me holla holla at your girl you know what i'm saying because i am that girl you know what i'm saying <laughs> But no, for real, you guys, make sure you guys follow me and I'll see you guys in my next video. And I still have this um, 16 inch um, 13 by 4 HD um, body wave lace front wig. And it was from Asteria Hair. If you haven't watched my processing video on this wig, you can do so by watching my previous video. Go check that out, how I process this wig. And this is the wig that I've been wearing ever since, you know what I'm saying, my surgery journey. It still looks good. Um, it's 180% um, density. I love thick, full wigs. I didn't dye it, no, none of that. And yeah, y'all, that's it. I really can't wait to get back to work. I ain't even gonna cap. But other than that, you guys, I will see you when I see you. And bye.